By the time of Augustus, Rome had acquired for itself an enormous empire. In fact, it was almost at its fullest extent, barring Britain and, and a few other remote places. And Augustus wanted to remake the image of Rome. He had found a city of rather ordinary buildings. And he had also been to the east, where he had seen great and grand cities, uh, particularly Greek cities in Egypt um, and in Greece itself. Uh, but he wanted to outdo even the Greeks. And in fact, in Rome, that was possible because the Romans had been using the arch for a very long time, probably inherited from the Etruscans, but they had been using the arch in their constructions. He wanted to glorify the city and started to build amazing buildings, buildings that involved using concrete. Um, and, and in fact, it was the invention of concrete that really makes this possible. Um, concrete allowed the Romans to create domes and vaults and, and barrel vaults and cross vaults and all sorts of grand and glorious things that allowed them to build lofty buildings, that allowed them to build amphitheaters, freestanding amphitheaters, um, and all sorts of other um, fantastic creations like the Pantheon, for instance, in Rome. Augustus wanted a city that looked like it should own an empire. And so he remade uh, many, many of the buildings in the city of Rome that had fallen into disrepair because the upkeep of buildings in Rome, in fact, relied upon private money. It had always relied upon private money. And if you couldn't get a lot of bang for your buck, no one wanted to invest. Repairing an old building was nowhere near as interesting as building a new one. And so Augustus took it upon himself to do that, but not just to leave them in their old style, but to renovate them and to remake them into something grand and glorious. In fact, Suetonius says um, in, in his Life of Augustus, he quotes Augustus as having said, I found Rome a city of brick, but I left it a city of marble.